guys today I want to do another paint my nails with me or wait paint your nails with me some call me Coco settled it but I forgot what she called it I think it's paint your nails with me anyways <laughs> I'm gonna paint my nails I realized I have a few things I want to talk to you guys about and I just don't feel like I can really sneak it into any of my other videos and this has become my best way of chatting with you guys so uh, before we get into any of that, I am going to talk about what's on my nails, what I will be using on my nails, and after that, I'm just going to do my thing and we can talk uninterrupted pretty much. So right now on my nails, this is from Emily Damali. It's this bottle right here. This is um, the color The Decent, and I got it from a D-Stash. I think it looks gorgeous. It's kind of a warm brown color with a little bit of a green dual chrome and you can kind of see it uh, when it's at a certain angle and it has a lot of scattered hollow micro glitters inside so i think this polish is gorgeous it's perfect for fall it's one coater however i just don't feel like this color is me um, there are sometimes you know if you wear certain color of clothing or they're they're just styles that look so good but I don't feel like myself when I'm doing that. So I feel this polish is one of those. It's gorgeous. There's nothing wrong with it. Did I mention it's a one coater? The formula is great. And I just do not feel like myself while wearing this color for some reason. So I'm going to take it off and put something else on. And I would declutter this one just because it's in a very good condition and it still has this box. Um, but yeah, that's the polish. And what I will be wearing is from Top Shelf Lacquer. This is in the color uh, Hunting Ducks. It came from the June Polish Pickup, uh, not box, just Polish Pickup website. Um, I still haven't worn it. I think it's a little bit more like a fall transition color, so it would be perfect for right now. It's a hollow with some black uh, and some multi-chrome flakies inside so it looks really exciting and i want to wear that one and of course i'm using my good old uh, zoya remove plus right here um, i just use this as a re refill bottle and i have the giant bottles to refill it with and the base coat and top coat i'm using today are pretty simple too the base coat is from night owl lacquer this is uh, rebel base base coat and then i also have my glisten glow top coat so all of that is out of the way i am gonna start removing my nail polishes now so i basically um would not do anything fancy with my nails today i'm just gonna paint it and that's it like i'm not gonna do any stamping or even gradient anything at all um, so we're just gonna do a simple thing because like I said, I really just wanted to talk to you guys, um, mainly about two things. I think the first part I want to talk to you guys about is a little bit more personal. Um, there's some personal changes in my life that would affect my channel. So I wanted to tell you guys, but like I said, I just don't know how <laughs> it just feels weird to sneak it into any of my videos. And at the same time, um, I think the other part is not so much related to me. It's just something I've been thinking about for a long time. And I watched some other videos and, you know, kind of related to it. I just got inspired to talk to you guys about it a little bit too, if we still have time left. So uh, let's see, where do I even get started? Um, basically, um, it, it's not complicated. I'm... I'm gonna be working that's it <laughs> ever since I started my channel about two and a half years ago I stayed at home I was a full-time stay-at-home mom and I worked some jobs um, every once in a while mainly as contractors and working from home so I never really needed to you know go out to work nine to five and it's been a long time, close to three years now that I haven't worked in an office. So Adeline now is it's much older. She's a pretty social kid. I think she pretty much enjoys hanging out with other kids. So I feel it's time for me to get out and it's time for her to get out too. So I will be working soon. Actually, today's Friday as I'm filming this and I will start next Monday. So it's coming up really soon. However, I don't think you're going to see this video until maybe weeks later because I was also 
pre-filming like crazy because I know once I start working I don't think I will have as much time to do pretty much two to three videos a week uh, that is what I'm doing now I used to do I think three videos a week Monday Wednesday Fridays and then since we moved I I was just a little behind since we moved and I sometimes had to do only two videos a week but two to three pretty much um, that was my like unannounced schedule um, and then I I don't think I would be able to do that um, once I start working so I was pre-filming a lot and hopefully it will last me for a few weeks um, even after I started so I think um, you're just gonna see this video a little bit later after I upload all of my pre-filmed videos um, yeah so that's that and so what am I trying to say once you see this video I should be probably already weeks in my new job and right now really it's like a guessing game for me I don't know what's gonna happen I am not sure how busy I would be and um, just how much time I would have on the weekend or at night to film or edit I have no idea what's gonna happen and I just want to give you guys a heads up pretty much um, that you probably would see me a little bit less frequent but I really really hope that I could still be up here you know um, because for me YouTube was so much fun I just love it like I don't make I wouldn't say I make zero dollar from YouTube I do make a little money uh, and if you guys want I can totally talk about that I'm I'm open about it it's very minimal um, it's not enough to do anything but I mean I don't do it for money if you couldn't tell and I just like it and I don't want to give up on my hobby but at the same time I know my time will be so limited I I just don't think I would be able to keep it up and really um, if I have a little time a little free time I have to choose between like painting my nails and filming and editing a video I probably would choose to just paint my nails so uh, we'll see how that goes I, I really have no idea um, but hopefully I can at least still keep up with all of my monthly upload videos because you know I have a lot of year-long projects going right now I have uh, finished 18 and 18 I have finished 18 and 18 lip products I have peeping Pam I have project Pam Poor, um, and I have monthly manis and project polish those are all pretty much uh, monthly updates that's six videos already and I pretty regularly would do my empties and um, haul videos so that's more like eight videos a month and that pretty much if you do like two videos a week that's your your monthly schedule so I hope I can at least keep up with those ones and on top of that if I have more time I would do something else so I think that's just a little heads up pretty much um, so you guys know I didn't abandon YouTube I just have to make adjustment um, and what else oh, so it seems like we have plenty of time to talk about things I um I don't know I avoided talking about it for the longest time so like one of you guys even in my last video commented that um, you said um, it's so nice to see me <laughs> because I don't have drama here I've noticed that there are some drama but I like I pretty much stayed out of it because I didn't I wasn't interested and but it's still like kind of seeped through and I saw some posts mainly because when you how do I even get this started I have a few people that I watch pretty regularly before and for some reason they started to become a little bit more like a drama channel um, I'm not gonna name names but I feel I've lost interest in their videos so fast once they started talking about of course not their own dramas but other people's dramas like the bigger youtuber there are some like crazy drama that I don't even want to get into but there are smaller channels that live off of talking about their dramas so I just felt that was like what the heck I lost interest so fast and I unsubscribed to 
a lot of smaller influencers that talk about other people's drama and not talk so much about their makeup anymore. That's how I um, was brought to this awareness, I guess, how I started to realize, oh, there's like a lot of things going on out there and, and some sort of drama was coming. And then I don't, I don't know, like there are video types of videos that I was just losing interest so fast on like um, the five brands I would never buy or like, um, I don't know, the products, you know, those kind of like generalizing still beauty videos, but sometimes just very drama imposing, like, I don't know, just if, if a product is good or bad, why can't you just say, yes, it's good or no, it's bad? Like, why do you have to categorize and I don't know. Um, I'm not trying to be harsh here and I know I'm not the best at articulating my words and that's why I stayed away from like talking about this for the longest time because I just feel it's gonna come across wrong people are gonna think I'm jealous because I'm a smaller channel like if I talk about this I feel I'm doing the same thing like I'm talking about other people's drama and I I don't want that you know what I mean but at the same time like it really bothers me I just want you guys to know that like it bothered me to a point that I unsubscribed to so many people, you have no idea. Um, and in turn, I kind of became like this person that lived under the rock because I had no idea what's going on out there anymore. Like nobody that I subscribed to would talk about the drama and which is really nice. And at the same time, like there isn't much to watch anymore. Like. <laughs> because that's pretty much all there is and I just I don't get it I hate it um I want my good old makeup tutorials and my product reviews pretty much without drama but you know I'm just not getting enough of that now um so in a way it kind of pushed me closer to the nail community because it's relatively cleaner I feel um nail polishes are are a pretty simple thing they're I mean, there are a select few big companies, but the rest of us are just like, you know, indie makers and small people making nail videos and it's relatively a clean space. Um, so I stayed away from those like million follower YouTubers. I'm pretty sure I don't follow anyone that has more than a million subscribers. Maybe the highest number I have is probably like 500,000 people, like subscriber channels. Um, and maybe there's only like one or two of those that I would follow and watch. So I don't know. Um, as, well, why am I talking about this now? I think mainly because I clicked on Makeup Geek's video um, just right now, right before I came on here. She was doing the For Truth makeup hashtag, I think that's what's called. Um, and she talked about that was like a sequence video pretty much and then it got me interested to watch her actual previous video that was titled something like um, all the drama in beauty community or like what's wrong in beauty community um, I saw that video before I never even clicked on it because oh it sounded like it was talking about drama so I avoided it and now like I watched her video I was like oh my gosh I cannot agree more like I just hate all this and it wanted it made me want to talk about it too you know what I mean so um hopefully we would never talk about this again because I hate it I deeply hate it my first reaction whenever I see a channel or someone that does that I just run away like well so long like I'm not interested in your video anymore Either you're going after someone's drama or the fame or the money, like I don't care. And honestly, it's really sad. The bigger the channels are, the less I trust them. Like all the celebrities that are out there, like makeup cele celebrities, it's really hard to do a quote mark when your nails are wet. <laughs> all the celebrities out there, um, Oh my goodness, I just, I do not trust the word that they say. And I do not care for their products, whatever, whoever you collaborate with, I don't care. It, it's just, it's not trustworthy. It's all money, 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 money. So I'm not about to toss my hard earned money out there so that they can get paid. And um, 
I don't know, the in the Makeup Geek video that she talked about some artists would ask for 60k for a video. That was mind-blowing. Like, what the heck? That's a lot of money. And then on top of that, um, what's his name? Gosh, I forgot his name. I will write it on the screen. I have his face in my mind, but I just... Anyways, um, he he replied in the comments said um, his witnessed some other YouTubers got offered 20k. He was saying that the artist was refusing the deal because the money was too low. And I, I don't know, guys. I I cannot wrap my head around it. It's just it bubbles me. I I can't. I don't know what to say to that and it just it's so sad and in the video um she even talked about how her brand wasn't talked about so much anymore i i feel that i honestly felt that because you know i was passing by target i saw her brand in target and i was like i wonder if like she just didn't have new releases or what like nobody's talking about it anymore um but it's because she couldn't afford to pay those huge makeup artists <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous though? Like, what what have we all become? And honestly, if you guys have bought any of those like huge makeup artist collab products, do you honestly like it? I, I don't know, that's my question. Like, I don't know if you guys are actually genuinely happy with your products that were recommended so much. You know what I mean? Um, Gosh, I just don't know. So I avoided all of that. The only thing I think I want is from uh, Emily Noel's new palette with Makeup Revolution. They, um, what is it called? The, the Want and the Need palettes. I think those are good and I honestly still trust her. So other than that, all of the collab palettes, I like the bigger the star is the less interested i am i wouldn't say i feel disgusted but i'm very close to that i just i have no interest whatsoever um and even in nail polishes i feel there are again i wouldn't name names but there are a couple of the brands that are getting all the hypes and i don't know why <laughs> It's really sad and I really just want to maintain my channel as pure as possible and really I don't have any drama to talk to you guys about I feel and I didn't want to make my channel a makeup channel to begin with it was pretty much just half project pan half nail polish and I never did a makeup tutorial get ready with me like three looks a palette like I'm not talented I don't like most of the time I don't know what I'm doing with my makeup and I feel kind of foolish to do that and I want to do what I do and I enjoy doing it so I don't I don't want like money as a return you know it's really just one of my hobbies it makes me feel relaxed and it's just it just feels good to do it you know so um I don't know and at this point I feel a little extra saddened because I will be working and I'm gonna do this less and less frequent hopefully not not too bad like hopefully I can keep it up to a point that I wouldn't feel bad about it but we'll see I hope you guys will understand it just life changes and sometimes you know I I just I always not sometimes I always have to cater to my family's needs first and I think this is the right move for us as a family. It's good for me, good for my daughter, good for my husband. I just have to do it even though that means I have to sacrifice my hobby a little bit. And hopefully it just means I wouldn't have to sacrifice it completely. And I would still be able to come up here and do videos uh, somewhat regularly. So um, yeah, I just want to give you guys a heads up pretty much and I hope you guys enjoyed it and I love this polish oh, so beautiful you know that's the thing like I feel those two are not even that different I mean yes they're different but not that different um they're kind of hollow they're kind of dual chromey and they're kind of neutral this one's darker and warmer this one's cool toned I mean it's a stretch to say they're similar but idea wise 
I think they're a little bit more like the fall neutral, but I just do not feel like this Emily Damali polish is me. Like I just cannot. And this one just looked so much better on me. I feel I feel confident and chic and happy wearing this. So um, yes, I love it. You saw the formula. It was uh, flawless. Love it. So that will be it, guys. Um, I love you and I hope you will stay here while even when I'm gone a little bit. So <laughs> all right. Bye, guys.